we think to make a big impact, we have to do big things. But that is a wrong way of thinking. Big impacts always start with little things. Hey, what's up, friends? Uh, I just finished teaching a room full of adults in a very, very important lesson and wanted to grab my phone and share it with you. And that is, it is easy to think uh, that big things earth big things when the opposite is actually true. There's a principle in the kingdom of God when you study the New Testament that teaches this, that it's actually little things that create big things. Now, we all wanna make a big impact. We all wanna make a big difference in this world. We all wanna to try to positively impact our family, our community. We wanna make a difference with our job, with our career. But, but we think to make a big impact, we have to do big things. But that is a wrong way of thinking. Big impacts always start with little things. What did Jesus say? Jesus said, uh, in Matthew that the kingdom is like a mustard seed, right? The mustard seed, the smallest of all seeds, yet it grows, right? And it becomes this bush or this tree that birds come and rest in. The point, right? Great things begin small. Go back to the Old Testament, right? How did David kill that big, tall, giant Goliath? He killed Goliath with a small stone. When God chose to redeem the world of sin, and to send salvation, how did he choose to do it? He chose to send his son in the form of a small baby, right? Think about the work that Jesus did when he was on the earth, right? He often did big things. He fed 5,000 plus with what? That's pretty big. He did it with something small, a little boy's lunch. When Jesus chose to make disciples of all nations, how did he start? He started with something small. He started with 12 humble disciples, right? So big things don't birth or beget big things. It's the little things that beget or create big things. Now this is good news because listen, you don't have to be Superman. You don't have to be a superhero. You don't have to know it all and be able to do it all. You just need to be faithful in what God has given you to do. What opportunities has God placed in front of you today? Go do them with all of your heart, right? What ministries has the Lord given you right now? Pursue them and execute with excellence. What relationships have, has God placed in your lives, right? Pour into those relationships. What about your most important disciples, right? Your kids at home, your grandkids. Are you investing in those relationships? It's not the big things that change the world. It is the little things. And so friends, be faithful in the little. Remember, it is little things that begin or birth big things. It's not the big things that produce or birth big things. Be faithful, don't quit. Um, God has great things in store for you. I believe in you, have a great day.